Do you want to 10 times your income without working harder? Enjoying earning more while enjoying more free time? Sounds good to be true? Stay tuned, dahil sa video na ito, I'll show you how it's possible. Let's dive in. First, pag-usapan natin ang mga myths. Kasi minsan, ito yung nakakahadlang sa success natin eh. Itong mga beliefs na ito. So in order to take control of our lives, our success, we have to start with our beliefs, our mindset. If you have a good mindset, you will have a good life. Do you believe in that? Earning more doesn't always mean working harder. Marami nagsasabi at naniniwala na dapat magtrabaho ka ng magtrabaho para dumami ang pera mo. Kung gusto mo maging triple ang pera mo, magtrabaho ka daw ng triple. No, it's not about working harder, but working smarter and taking advantage of opportunities. Here are the five strategies to help you achieve that. Invest in yourself. One of the best ways to increase your income without working harder is by investing in yourself. This means gaining new skills, knowledge, and qualifications that can make you more valuable in the job market. Pwedeng mag-aral ng mga bagong skills online, kumuha ng certifications, o kaya'y mag-attend ng mga seminars at workshops. When you become more skilled and knowledgeable, you can command higher salaries or charge more for your services. It's not just about working more hours. It's about making those hours count more. Let's take a look at Maria for example. She is a marketing professional working in a company. Maria was earning a decent salary, pero feeling niya na reach na niya yung ceiling sa career niya. Instead of putting in more hours at work, she decided to invest in herself by learning new skills. Nag-enroll siya sa online course about digital marketing. She spent her evenings and weekends studying. After niya matapos yung training, she got her certification. With her new skills, she approached her employer and showed them how her new knowledge could benefit the company. As a result, binigyan ng promotion si Maria at tinaasan ang sweldo niya. At hindi lang yon. Maria began freelancing on the side, offering digital marketing services to small businesses. This additional income stream allowed her to significantly increase her income without working longer hours at her main job. By investing in herself and gaining new skills, Maria was able to enhance her her value and create new opportunities for income. This approach not only increased her earnings but also gave her more flexibility and control over her career. Next is diversify your income streams. Relying on a single source of income can be risky. Paano kung na layoff ka sa trabaho mo or humina ang negosyo? Diversifying your income streams can protect you and your family and boost your overall income. Mag-invest in stocks, real estate, or start a side business. Kahit maliit lang ang simula, basta consistent at may strategy. Lalaki din yan. Look for positive income opportunities as well. Like rental properties, my favorite. Dividends or creating digital products that can sell while you sleep. Pag-usapan natin ang stock market dividends. Investing in dividend-paying stocks can be a great way to earn passive income. Alam nyo ba na ang company ni Warren Buffett na Berkshire Hathaway ay kumikita ng over $4 billion a year sa dividends from its investments in companies like Coca-Cola and Apple. Dividend stocks can provide a reliable income stream without requiring constant work. Medyo intimidating at first ang pag invest in stocks, alam ko. But you can start small and gradually increase your investment as you learn. Investing in stocks, however, is a long-term game. Kung gusto mo ng get-rich-quick, ay huwag dito. Time kasi ang kakampi mo dito. The longer you invest, the bigger your return. How about real estate? income. Real estate is another popular way to diversify your income and one of my favorites. Rental properties can generate consistent monthly passive income. In fact, sa dami ng tao sa mundo at patuloy na paglaki ng population, napakaraming market sa rentals. By renting out your properties, you can earn passive income at potential na mag-benefit ka pa sa property value appreciation over time. In real estate, you don't necessarily have to buy a property property outright to start earning rental income. You can use Airbnb to rent out a spare room sa bahay ninyo. This can provide a 
steady income stream with minimal upfront investment. For those who are willing to dive deeper, consider investing in Real Estate Investment Trust or REITs, which allows you to invest in real estate portfolios without the need to manage properties yourself. Next is digital products. Creating and selling digital products like ebooks, online courses, or printables can be a great source of passive income then. Sa panahon ngayon na information age, napakalaking potential nito if you do it right. For example, Pat Flynn, an entrepreneur and author, has made millions by selling online courses and other digital products through his website, Smart Passive Income. Once mo lang gagawin ang product at pwede mo itong ibenta ng paulit-ulit with minimal additional effort. Next is creating a small business. Starting a side business doesn't have to be too complicated. Begin with something you're passionate about. Saan ka expert? For instance, if you enjoy baking, start by selling your goods at local markets or online. Websites like Etsy or Shopify can help you reach a broader audience. As your business grows, you can explore ways to automate processes or hire people to scale without significantly increasing your workload. Leverage technology. In today's digital age, technology can be a game changer sa pagpapalaki ng income. Automation tools, online platforms, and digital marketing can help you reach more people and do more with less effort. Halimbawa, kung may business ka, pwede kang gumamit ng social media at email marketing para mas mapadali ang pag-promote ng products or services mo. You can also use productivity apps para mas mapadali ang trabaho mo at mas marami ka pang time mag-explore ng other opportunities na mapagkakakitaan. Network and build relationships. Success is often about who you know, not just what you know. Sino ang mga kakilala mo? Sino ang mga connection mo? Building a strong network can open doors to new opportunities, partnerships, and collaborations that can increase your income. Umaten ka ng mga events, join groups, and connect with people both online and offline. Hindi lang ito tungkol sa pagkakaroon ng maraming kakilala, kundi sa pagkakaroon ng meaningful connections who can help you advance your career or business. Mindset and attitude. Finally, having the right mindset and attitude is crucial. There's this saying from the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, whatever your mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. This is one of my favorite quotes, by the way. This quote emphasizes the power of a positive mindset and the importance of believing in your potential to achieve financial success. Bakit importante ang mindset at attitude? Believe Believing that you can achieve financial success is the first step toward actually achieving it. When you have the right mindset, you're more likely to take calculated risks and stay motivated to reach your goals kahit hirap na hirap ka na. Tim Ferriss, author of The 4-Hour Workweek, emphasizes the importance of working smarter rather than harder. In his book, he discusses the Pareto Principle, the 80-20 rule, which suggests that 80 80% of results come from 20% of efforts. By focusing on the most impactful activities and eliminating time-wasting tasks, Ferris was able to achieve significant success while maintaining a balanced lifestyle. Paano mo naman madidevelop itong right mindset na ito? Don't worry because I got you. Here are 5 practical steps to develop the right mindset. First is to set clear goals. Define what financial success means to you and set a specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound or smart goals to reach it. Practice positive affirmations. Use positive affirmations to reinforce your belief in your ability to achieve financial success. Statements like, I am capable of creating wealth can help shift your mindset. Learn continuously. Invest in personal and professional development. Read books, take courses, and seek mentorship to continuously improve your skills and knowledge. Next is to surround yourself with positivity. Surround yourself with positive and supportive people who encourage your growth and success. Umiwas sa mga negative influences na pwedeng makaapekto sa iyong confidence at motivation. Next is to embrace failure. Tingnan mo ang failures as learning opportunities. I-analyze mo kung ano ang mali. Make adjustments and try again with a better 
approach by adopting a positive and proactive mindset, believing in your potential, and being strategic with your efforts, you can significantly increase your chances of achieving financial success. Remember, it's not about how hard you work, but how smart and strategic you are in your journey towards financial freedom. Share this video to your family and friends and stay tuned for more videos. And if you want to learn more from me, watch this video next.